Hi guys, do you ever wanted to visit or plan to go to Iceland? Or you just need to go somewhere to the next place where you have booked your next accommodation? Well, if you want to skip renting a car or joining a group tour, well, in this video, you can explore Iceland using Iceland public transport. In today's video, I'm gonna share to you a very important information every single person needs to know while you are staying here in Iceland. Welcome to our channel, Welki and Mary. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and give us a like and click the notification bell so you will be updated to our video uploads. I know it sounds easy, especially if you have already planned your trip here in Iceland but when you are there it's kind of a little bit confusing yes like most of other countries iceland has also two basic main bus terminals there are many bus companies that operates here in iceland but there are only two that are operates that will take you point to point from and to here in iceland one is the bsi bus terminal and the other one is called the mule bus terminal the bsi bus terminal takes passengers from the keflavik airport or it is called airport transfer the name of this bus specifically is called the Reykjavik excursions or the bus itself it is called fly bus which is means airport transfer when you landed here in iceland that bus will take you from the Keflavik airport go down to the downtown Reykjavik and the name of the bus terminal is called BSI and in the BSI bus terminal that is the place where you begin your journey here in Iceland so if your final destination is in downtown Reykjavik or in the capital city of Iceland well a straight to bus will take you everywhere around the capital area the yellow straight of buses is the bus that will take you around the city while you are staying here in the city but one thing to keep in mind that these yellow buses will not take you outside the Reykjavik area like for example if you want to go south north or west these yellow buses around the city will not take you there instead that yellow buses will take you to the main bus terminal of the straight of bus which is located in Mjod where in Mjod bus terminal you will find all the routes where you want to go outside the capital area Welki and Mary the straight of bus terminal is located in Mjod and it's very easy to find and it's very easy to get there just ride any yellow buses specifically the bus number three just ride the bus number three and it will take you the bus stop which is called Mjod. In Mjod is the bus terminal for everywhere. I mean really everywhere around Iceland. Bus routes in and around Reykjavik, capital area, bus routes in South Iceland, Reykjansbær, Keflavik Airport, bus routes in West and Northeast Iceland, bus routes in North and Northeast Iceland, Akureyri City Bus, Reykjansbær City Bus, bus routes in East Iceland so if your destination is one of these then you are good to go but remember the Stretto is digital and it is usually tickets are bought in advance before riding specifically the city buses and the driver also accept cash but usually tickets should be done before getting in it saves time for everyone but for the countryside buses the drivers always takes cash or always takes payments when you are in the bus download the strato app now and from there you can do everything i mean most everything like buying your tickets planning your trip from and to going for your destination welki and mary i have also a bonus tip for you like if you are riding a bus from outside the capital city to the capital city like for example you are riding a bus from Skogar or from Hepla or from Vik go to the capital city Reykjavik always remember when you are when paying your ticket that 
they are giving you a ticket extension or just say skip to Meda to remind them and they will print it out for you that extension ticket is the ticket that you can use for a certain period of time like one and a half hour uh, half an hour to one hour and you can just use it once once you have used it then you have to buy another ticket so guys hope this video gives an answer to your questions especially for you yes for you just landed here in iceland and you are going for your work or for your tour this is actually for you so guys i know there's some uh, specific informations which i have not been discussing here but hopefully this video helps a little bit for you and thank you for your time for watching this video and thank you very much for subscribing and giving us a like in this video if you want to know more and if you like more of this video please guys subscribe to our channel Welky and Mary and we will see you on our next video thank you very much